Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Real quick before I get started, someone uh, at the, the workout this morning asked me if I do this every day. Yes, I do this every day. I just got back from the workout and I'm blitzed. It was a good one this morning. But uh, anyway, yes, I do this every day and this is the first time I'm, I don't read ahead, so when I'm reading this, it's the first time I've seen it. So, uh, well, not the first time I've read it, but you know what I mean. All right, well, this morning we're going to start off in Psalm 130, and then we're going uh, a few passages in Ezekiel, and then we're going to Revelation. So, let's get started, Psalm 130, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, on to the Old Testament lesson. There's uh, Ezekiel chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, and then we're going to chapter 2, verse 8, through chapter 3, verse 3. So, here we go. In the thirteenth year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the exiles by the Chebar Canal, the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God on the fifth day of the month. It was the fifth year of the exile of King Je Jehoiachin. The word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the Chebar Canal, and the hand of the Lord was upon him there. And then to chapter 2, verse 8. But you, son of man, hear what I say to you. Be not rebellious, like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. And when I looked, behold, a hand was stretched out to me. And behold, a scroll of the book was in it. And he spread it before me. And it had writing on the front and on the back. And there were written on it words of lamentation and mourning and woe. And he said to me, Son of man, Eat whatever you find here. Eat this scroll and go. Speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me this scroll to eat. And he said to me, Son of man, feed your belly with this scroll that I give you, and fill your stomach with it. Then I ate, and it was in my mouth as sweet as honey. Hmm. All right. Uh, on to the New Testament lesson. We're going to Revelation chapter 10. And then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud, with a rainbow over his head, and his face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. He had a little scroll open in his hand, and he set his, set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and called out with a loud voice, like a lion roaring. When he called out, the seven thunders sounded, and when the seven thunders had sounded, I was about to write. But I heard a voice from heaven saying, Seal up what the seven thunders have said, and do not write it down. And the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven, and swore by him who lives for ever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it, the earth and what is in it, and the sea and what is in it, that there would be no more delay, but that in the days of the trumpet call to be sounded by the seventh angel, the mystery of God would be fulfilled, just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice that I heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go, take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel who was standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll, and he said to me, Take and eat it. It will make your stomach bitter, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. And I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it, 
it was sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten it, in my, eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. And I was told, you must again prophesy about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. And this is the word of the Lord. Mm. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. Let us pray. O Lord, by your bountiful goodness, release us from the bonds of our sins, which by reason of our weakness we have brought upon ourselves, that we may stand firm until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, be safe, be happy, be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.